Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We were playing some more Starfield on Xbox Game Pass through PC. What is all this stuff, I wonder? Okay, never mind. So saw all that stuff. Just some help about the city, which I don't really need right now. Right now to find where to put not in here. Not up there either. Uh, maybe it is actually, hold up. No, it's not. Or is it? No. It's up higher than this. But where? Hmm. It's over this way. That's the exit. Okay. Um, is it up here? Yeah, it is. Okay. Cool. Alright, so now we can go back and do that one. Alright, and we're going back to the den anyway. So, that works for me. Be Jemison. But this ship is starting to feel like home. The Dan responding to hail. You are cleared to dock. Welcome to UC Space. Oh, my ship is parking. Okay, I need to get repaired then. This guy should Need some repair work it. Hey, what can I do for you? Sure thing. We'll get it fixed up. Good as new. Yes, they did. Okay, cool. For a thousand credits, that's not too bad, honestly. I got all this stuff from... Nice. I am, hands down, the best pilot in this dump. Only a matter of time before I get promoted out of here. Well, yeah. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, right. You haven't seen me fly. If you had, you'd know how good I am. Damn right I am. I'd offer to let you fly along on my next mission, but, uh... Oh, man, I nearly forgot. L listen, I'm the favor. I've got an application for a promotion in the Vanguard, but I haven't heard anything back. It's been a while. Their reply must have gotten hmm. lost along the way. It happens. We're really far from New Atlantis. Anyway, would you mind going there and following up for me? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, probably, but you know how it goes. 
I leave here and then something terrible happens and I have all this guilt because I wasn't here to save everyone. Well, and there's her answer. Just like that? Wow, that's great. I'm not going to forget that you're doing this for me. This is just the start of my climb up the ranks. You'll see. Okay, you're going to want to talk to Commander Tuwala. I'm well, sure of he's aware of me because I've sent him a few messages now. Just bring back whatever message for me so I can get out of here, okay? Really appreciate it. Okay, then. I mean, you know what? That's not where we're going. Oh, no, mind. It is. It's in reverse. Game stop, please. We'll go ahead and do this one and then we'll come back. And just get three done. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. This is UC Security. Prepare to be scanned for contraband. Scan complete. You know what we get? Like I said, finish three quests back to back. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Informed me of your part in halting the attacks. Whole damn city owes you. Now, what do you need? <laughs> okay, didn't see that one coming. No need to say any more. I know what it's about. He's convinced he deserves a promotion, which to him means a transfer, command post, maybe a new ship and a big office. Do you know him well? What do you think of him? Fair enough. Clearly, patience isn't his strong suit. I thought the constant stream of messages was a bit much. If he's gonna be sending people here. All right, I received some good advice from someone in the Vanguard recently, and I'm gonna run with it. I'd like you to deliver this message to Bastion on my behalf, the full authority of Vanguard leadership. He's gonna be the first and only recipient of a new commendation. Quite an honor. I hope he appreciates it. Please, give him my regards. Oh no. I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. Mmm, I got a sneaking suspicion this is gonna be a hilarious scenario. But I could be wrong. Welcome to the dead. If you have business, feel free to land. Was a pleasant change of scenery. All right, now we get paid. Only a matter of time before I get promoted out of here. You look like you've got news. It better be good news. Okay, come on, don't keep me in suspense. When do I ship out? Is that good? Or, or wait. Is it bad? Oh, 
Don't tell me they blew me off. Wow, really? Let's see. Uh, unique in the history of the Vanguard. That's good, right? Okay. Okay, finally some real recognition. Thanks for doing the legwork here. I'm not gonna forget that you helped me out. And someday, when I'm running the Vanguard, I'm gonna make sure you get paid big time. For now, though, my account's a little light, so this is the best I can do. But, but really, I mean it. I'm gonna remember this. I wonder what he got. Hey, my biggest fan and supporter. How are you? I wonder okay, what... Man. I wonder what his assignment was. I asked my boss what they're doing to stop new alien attacks on the city. And he said, Hey, newbie. It's a nice set of boots you got there. They for sale? I'll give you, say, 500 credits for them. They'd look better on me anyway. I don't know. Looks like they're perfect. Sturdy, polished, and just my size. But fine. If you don't want to sell, it's your loss. Five hundred credits whenever we can get more is. Yeah. We can get a lot more. I okay, think speaking of which. Would see a bit more action. Actually. How may the trade authority assist you? I want to give you more money so that you can open up your... Oh, he doesn't have it. Really? Never mind then. And here I was going to donate to your future endeavors to open up your own store. Time was this place would be full of pilots, soldiers, and well to do Don't let Orville get to you. And look Just at now. Yep. Yeah. See ya. You get those posters up. People will notice, trust me. Here's the credits, as promised. The United Colonies thanks you. 100 XP for that one. Heck yeah, man. Long live the UC. Been up there, huh? Space? It must be cool. I never get to go to space. Well, then your job sucks. Oh, wait. <laughs> I try not to trade in gossip, but if you have any verifiable information, I'm all ears. That voice sounds familiar. Well, I certainly feel it that. is. The Vanguard pilots <laughs> don't seem to want to associate with me. And I don't agree with Mr. Romack's views on the colony war. So there are few options left to me. You know, I really thought volunteering for this assignment was going to be the boost to my career that I was looking for. Now I suspect even SSNN has forgotten about me. I think that's the same voice actor who played, um... A catchy in Persona 5. I could be wrong though, but it sounds like him. Thank you for the kind words of support, random citizen. Why, certainly. The Settled Systems News Network is the longest running news service in. Well, the Settled Systems. Reporters are dispatched all over, keeping an ear to the ground for some breaking news that should be known to everyone. It can, admittedly, be a bit of a pain making sure those stories reach our central office in New Atlantis. But until someone invents faster-than-light communication, it's the best we can do. Au revoir, as they say. It does sound like him. But again, I could be wrong. So, you want a dollar for crackers. I mean...
That's not crackers. That's not crackers. Chocolate Labs, ooh. Oh, it varies on what you... Oh, what else can we get from this? I'm curious. I saved. Don't worry, I saved. Oh, it's empty. No way, it's empty. Oh, this would be, um, Lucky Charms, wouldn't it? Raisin Bran. And the only thing they changed was, um, instead of it being General Mills, it's Centauri Mills. Lucky Charms. So Raisin Bran, Lucky Charms, Chocolate Labs, I don't know, what would Chocolate Labs be? General Mills, Chocolate Labs, and then Snack Crackers. Oh, um, are these supposed to be, um, not Ritz, but, um, Goldfish, maybe? And then these ones are, um, uh, what, are they, what will these ones be? Oh, the extinct canine, Labrador Retriever. Oh, yeah, because Earth is gone, yeah. That's why they're extinct. Sad, sadly enough. Oh, what would this one be based on? Because it's... General Mills, but Centauri Mills instead. So maybe, um, uh, I don't know. But whatever, it is what it is. Well, dang, kitty, you're going nuts, man. Did that cat weed make you go hyper and all that crap for, for once? Because it never does. All crew accounted for. We're ready to depart. Oh, this stuff is restocking. No way. Is it really? Hold up now. It's not. Okay. No. It's not, but it is on the tables. I sold all of this stuff, but it's restocking. But it's not to where I can sell it. Yeah, it is restocking. <laughs> oh man, that's an infinite money glitch right there. It's not much money, but it's still an infinite money glitch. If it ever does show up in the store, or, you know, the inventory is an infinite money glitch. Which I doubt it will. Alright, so now we're going back to here. And it wants us to go to the well. <laughs> How close am I to a level? Oh, I'm getting there. Wait. What?
He's in a well. Why are we going this way? Game, you are freaking drunker than a skunk. No. <clears throat> Why am I here and not being spawned at the space park? This is where I spawned at. Why didn't it not spawn me here? Okay, and now it's pointing me to where I have to go and not... Uh, did I choose the wrong one? I hit the one that had the blue marker on it. I know I did. I'm confused. Did I find a bug, maybe? I don't know. There's one, one way to find out, I guess. Okay. I want that. Micro gun. Oh, that's a mini gun. Can I buy that from him? Happy to make a deal. You ask me, the real new Atlantis. Absolutely. Micro gun. It's not there. Yeah, I know, it's not there at all. So if I want that, I will have to steal it. Interesting. Yes, you did. You know how I know? The rain cloud over your head is all but gone. Here, for your hard work. With a lady log back on my side, I expect the business to be less bust and more boom. And let us never speak of those accursed bulls ever again. That's just a steal. Hmm. Well, our next one. We could do... Wait, what's this one? What's this one? Talk to her about quarters. Wait a minute. No. Did I did not... Did I seriously waste 30 doubt? Oh my god, I'd be so mad if I did. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad if I did. Doing, I can just do this. I'm an idiot. I'm gonna be mad if I wasted 30,000. 
I swear. I want to be so upset if I did. Walter spends a fortune to maintain the lodge, but I'd say it's worth every credit. wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part. At least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades it was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. Dude, they have a straight-up bar. I'm right here, lady. Come on. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Now, let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. I can't use it, though. Come on now. You're going to upset all of the ones who like alcohol. Not me, though. Alcohol is bad. Makes you do bad things. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet. And Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Ha <laughs> ha! This is my room, huh? No! Oh, I can't t oh. I have to walk all of the stuff from my ship to here? Ah! Uh, can I decorate this place? Any at all? No, I can't, can I? No. Do they have a workbench here? I don't think they do. Dude, you just... Ah! Ah, more money. What if I do, honestly? <laughs> All right. Yeah, trying to find this again is not going to be easy to do. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, it's not going to be easy to do again. Yeah, it's not going to be easy to do. 
because you can't mark it or nothing. So yeah, this isn't worth it to me. Plus I can't modify it to have, I can't modify this area at all to have work benches. So it's not worth it. <clears throat> well, that was a waste of time, honestly. I'll just use the um, storage chest. It doesn't bother me any at all. Who cares? Alright, so now where are we going? We're not going to do that one for a while or ever. I may not ever build an outpost because it's not my kind of thing. Base building is not my cup of tea. Um, I could do that one. Let's see what he wants. We're here, why not? I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day, and yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought hmm. perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. I don't. Not for sure. It's all a theory, certainly, but it is completely supported by the data and observation, like all good science. It's the best we have to go on right now. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. My thoughts precisely. Now, as of yet, hmm. there has been no response. And clearly, none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, a near-literal olive branch one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly, no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. I'm sorry, I'll get to the point. Hmm. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, 
Off you go. But we don't have any time to waste. Aquila City, huh? Cheyenne, level one, huh? Try jumping to a closer system. Okay. Oh yeah, and there is one there. Okay, that's kind of hard to log on to. Can I do it with the mouse? No, it does it too with the mouse. It's a shame that you can't like... Huh. Is that really all the stars there are? That's not much, that's not much at all. Yeah, that's not much at all, honestly. Wow. Level 20? Oh no, there's more in there. Oh yeah, there's not that much stars at all. I thought there was more than this, but I mean, it's fine. What's down here? 90, level 50, wow, dude. Dude, have fun trying to target those ones. What the hell, dude? Hey devs, you might wanna fix that little blunder right there. There's like three of them right there. You might want to fix that little blunder. There's two of them right there. Yeah, you might want to fix that little blunder. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's what that's for. Oh. Oh, they saw the head. They saw the head. Oh, they saw the head. Okay. My, never mind then. My mistake. <clears throat> Sidonia. Mitch Benjamin. Yeah, we can... Mars Mech Factory. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get this one as well. Hmm, I 
wonder if the broken spear is still open. It's the only decent place in town to grab a drink. Hmm. Oh, dude, yeah, you know it. Wish it was silenced, but it's not, unfortunately. Not that it matters, though, honestly, but... Whatever. <laughs> Gather up all these quests. I'll never forget that you helped us finally catch that crazy bastard. We did! Soon after you left the signal paint. Soon as it did, I sent word to my fellow tracker, and he made a move on our guy. And on top of that, we bagged another wanted criminal. Turns out our guy was using the launch pad as a rendezvous point to traffic illicit goods, including human organs and worse. Damn. We caught the buyer as well, thanks to you. Ooh, should I tell you? Ah, uh, what the hell. It got me in trouble, but it's a good story. So, I got a bounty for this guy. Real tough spacer, you know? I find a ship, board without him knowing, and I literally catch him with his pants down, getting ready for the day or something, I don't know. Anyway, before he can react, I tackle him to the ground to cuff him, and he lets off a sly quip, thinking he's got game, but I don't take kindly to that kind of advance. See? And well, Bounty says alive or dead, so I make the call and I put him down. Anyway, turns out it wasn't the right guy, but this guy was also wanted. What are the odds, right? Oh. Well, the Alliance didn't think it was as funny as I did, so now I'm stuck here helping new recruits. Hmm. Darling, we're the baddest bounty hunters in the settled systems. People pay us to find criminals, scum, and other low lives when they don't want to or can't track them down themselves. During the war, we had so you're fixing to take yourself on a little bounty hunt. Well, look no further than the broken spear. The Trackers Alliance posts jobs on the mission board over there. Big old console, can't miss it. Now, look. Much as I'm itching to get back out there and take down wanted marks on my own, I can't help you any more than that. So, don't come crying to me if you can't hack it, you hear? Mission boards? Yeah, you'll find one here in the Broken Spear. They're usually in spaceport bars like that. Tracker's Alliance posts bounty jobs on them, but you can find all sorts of freelance missions. Good way to make some creds. Hey, y'all better not be taking all the fun jobs yourself, you hear? I'm almost done with this assignment, so you better leave some for me. Yeah, well... So what quest did, did we get? Accept bounty mission from the mission board. See ya. Okay. Broken spear. Pirate Marauder, huh? Where is Arane? Where is Arane? We need to go find the Arane system. This thing is way out here, isn't it? Good lordy. I am not seeing it.
Dude, where is the system? Hold on, let me... Let me do this. Survey this planet and that system for that. Oh, has been fully surveyed. Okay. Abandoned weapon station on Arane 2A and the Arane system. Oh, and they gave us a bonus. Oh, it's right there. Oh. Oh, level 15. Okay. I... No. What about the um, one to survey a system? Or a planet, that is. Oh, is this right there? Level 20 areas. Yeah, so we're not able to do missions yet. Yeah, no, we're not able to do those yet. We're not able to do, do those yet. Fair enough. That's no big deal though, who cares? My shop may not look special, but it's locally owned. Hi, welcome to Jane's. Sidonia is only 100% in. I apologize if I'm a little distracted. I'm currently dealing with a little issue, but. My stock may be low, but my prices are high. No, I don't need that. Fake butter. Oh, they got Japanese in here too. Nice. Lentil beans. Oh, they don't have the pole tabs? Oh, that sucks. They got nine bread, nice. <laughs> Rye bread, does it have seeds? No, it does not. They got spaghetti. Oh, my favorite. My favorite right there. Oh, fake chicken. Oh, wait. That's what we have right now. Ooh. 
Udon. Eh. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock me back down. But unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not sure you can help. See, I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods, but he went missing. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. I'm worried something bad has happened. Really? I mean, thank you. I know it's a lot of trouble, but it'll mean a lot to me. I'll try to compensate you as best I can when you bring back Eric and my ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last signal I got from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. And try to bring them both back in one piece. Okay, I can do that for you. No promises, though. <laughs> Haven't seen you around here before. Did you just move in? Oh, yeah? <laughs> Word gets around, I guess. <laughs> well, if you got a way to get off world, then maybe you can help. I found out recently that my favorite book series, Dragon Star Force, had a very limited initial run. I really want to collect all the first editions, but. It's hard for me to get them shipped all the way out here. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it and bring it back here for me? I, I'll pay you back, of course. Plus, you know, extra for your trouble. There are these old science fiction fantasy books about space and uh, good versus evil and a mysterious magical relic called the Dragon Star. Now, there's this team of heroes who fight space wizards, and dragons, demons, and you know, whoever else seeks to take over the galaxy using the Dragon Star. You will? Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. But thanks. Well, like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. Cool. Another quest we got. Mm hmm. <laughs> think we had any new miners on account of the positions being full up. Well, that's a little weird, but as long as Trevor's okay with it, I can't say that I mind. Anyway, I'm Layla. When I'm not mining, I'm tinkering with no, our unofficial mascot. I fill that computer brain of his with all sorts of nonsense and announcements. <laughs> of course, if you're here to chat, I'm always happy to talk shop. Especially if you're interested in talking about the heart of Mars. Oh, so you're interested in the heart of Mars, are you? Word is, there's a cave out in the Martian waste with a gleaming node of the purest titanium ore you've ever seen. It's worth quite a lot of credits, but some say the heart of Mars is cursed. Hundreds have gone in search of it, never to return. And every one of them met a grisly fate. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe, you could be the first to succeed, though. You know, if you think you got what it takes. No judgment if you're too scared. That's the spirit. You sure didn't seem like the type to be scared off by tales of cursed rocks. Never. I'll give you the coordinates for the cave. Good luck out there. 
and be careful. Leaving already. For today's final subterranean particle detonation. Be advised to secure this article. All right, I am going to put a stop here, and I will see all of you next time with some more Starfield. Feel free to subscribe, like, and hit the bell for more, and I will see all of you later.